There we five Seahawks. Let's see what they got going for them as well. So they're two and two. Or, oh, our whole division's two and two. Just want to see kind of who they've been playing so far because this is a big, this is a big game. Early on, big game. So they, ooh, Lions. Really? Wow, that's that's. Anyways, they lost to the Rams, they beat the Cardinals, and then they beat the Colts. So the, wait, oddly enough, they lost to the Lions. Lions, it's crazy. What are the Lions right now? Undefeated, apparently. Alright, let's see some stats for the Seahawks. So Russell Wilson, six touchdowns, three interceptions this year. So Chris Carson and DJ Dallas are going to be their backs. And they've only got the four touchdowns combined. Russell Wilson actually also runs it a lot if he's got 17 carries already for 90 yards. Receiving, you got Dwayne Eskridge. And he's got only 10 receptions for 198 yards, 2 touchdowns. DJ Met DK Metcalf, 185 yards. He's tied for the most uh, receptions with Robert Tanya. And Robert Tanya, red zone threat. His longest is only a 19, so I mean, 3 touchdowns, it's all been in the red zone. It's all of his touchdowns. Just keep an eye on that. And then Tyler Lockett as well. So they have a really good receiving core. Especially with this Dwayne. 74 overall. 91. And he's number, he plays as number one on the field. So right, I think with that, I think we're ready to kind of pop in this game. And see what we can uh, do against the Seahawks. So we're on away again. Another away game. So Bobby Wagner and Jamal Adams defensively find a way to stop them. Sean McVay apparently is their coach. So week five. Fielded just outside the goal line. Yeah, Pretty good stop there. Yeah, Sean McVay looks like. So let's see what Wilson can do here on the first drive for the Seahawks. Two yards. Three yards, apparently. So I think their main guys to really watch is I'm gonna say DK and Robert Tanya. I don't wanna get that Eskridge guy. No credit, but I mean Tanya's definitely and and DK's gonna be their main threats and this is gonna lead to fourth down Fred Warner. On the sack. Let's go. And New York Jets are going to beat the Atlanta Falcons. 35-25. And oh, a fumble, and this is going to be Seattle's ball. Just like that, we get uh, not even our first offensive trip yet. And they get great field position on our 34. Yikes. That's going to be Wilcox that's going to fumble our rookie. Stuff, we're going up against a tough defense, so we've got to take away some offensive possessions for them, but we're giving them more. Empty set. Tyler Lockett. 
We've got to have better yardage for this guy. He's number nine in the league. He's got to be mm. in the top three before the season's over. Let's run the ball. Give him nine there. Lions win again. They're going to go four. No. Line of scrimmage, the nine. Second and about a yard. Another empty set. They love empty. This will be caught at about the six. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes. Right over the middle, DK Metcalf. They're leaving him wide open. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Ah, I, they had him, and then they let him. They just let him go. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. So after the fumble for Wilcox, you make the other side pay when you don't have far to seven for Seattle. Extra point up and through by Myers, and it's now a seven nothing game. Taken in at the three, and down he goes just shy of the twenty five. Now penalty special teams right now. Let's see what that's about. My goodness. Our rookies. Not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. Let's go, Jimmy G. Lead us to a Here's a throw. big drive here. Debo right Samuel. Last week, 68 yards touchdown. Samuel from that game last week. Five catches, 68 yards, and a touchdown. And they think they have a match. I want to see more of Raheem Mostert this game. Some space for him to work. And make sure he touches the football. And he ran right through one tackle as he fights forward for a gain of seven. I'll be happy with 20 carries this game. Throwing on second and three. Garoppolo. Good throw. It's going to go to Mostert. And he's so quick, so he can also like catch the ball out in the flats and just beat the linebacker. It's great. Another play action. That's thrown away. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Second and ten. Nobody open. Now second down. Second and ten. Kittle in motion. Possibly a run here. A play fake for Another Mostert play action. That's a big catch. This is Wilcox. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. Oh, no, Wilcox trying to make him end, but he's, he's got to get in the end zone to do that. Or at least help us get there. Give to Most and about two yards. Second and eight. Second and eight. Empty set. And oh, Bobby Wagner almost picked that one off. Another empty set. We need eight. And we're gonna get sacked here, 100%. Yep. Ford on the sack, and we're gonna look like we're gonna punt here. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you get three to five seconds, oh, this is a nice punt on the three. When you hold it and give up a sack, what a punt! Coming to the line here to begin their next Definitely drive. they're going to be handing it off to Chris Carson here. Commit the blitz. They're going to do slants. I would have got beat. Oh, that's almost picked off. Sometimes you go max protection. Make it a one receiver. I meant almost the safety not picked off. That was a definitely a duck. There you go. He's only getting a yard. Third and nine. And they're in a big bunch set or two goal line set here. Let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up. Back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football this situation. Oh, there you go. Fourth down. Field position game. Embry Thomas. So hold on to it this time. Thank you, sir. Of course, Jamal Adams is the first man down there. And he's most likely the one who caused the fumble. A lot of throwing so far this game, and we're going to get sacked. To Murphy. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 
16. Yikes. Screen pass, Ayuk loses a yard or two. Downfield, and that's just a little bit overthrown. Let's see if we can get another punt here, another good punt. On the 13-yard line, it's going to long field, so. Went in the field position battle, but not went in the game right now. That's out of bounds for sure. Oh! Oh, nearly caught and picked. I thought that was going to float way out of bounds. And another one that they're throwing deep here. He ca oh my lord, he caught that, but it was out of bounds. This is where we can get a pick here. Oh, they're going to send a blitz out of bounds. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Now yet another incompletion here as they Yeah, without that fumble, this game is... Different story. Oof, Jamal Adams is laying the hit on Wilcox. Gotta block him. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. See if we snap it here before the first quarter expires. Nope. Fun set, top of screen. Kittle is very known for these bunch sets. And it goes to him, but incomplete. Good defense there by Wagner. And this is draw. Oh, it's dropped by Debo. Good coverage. And another punting situation. This one not too good of a punt. Really not a good punt. I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. A quick play. Russell Wilson just going to toss it away. Third and six. I would say it'd probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths. But I also don't advocate waiting that long. I think it's going to be quick slants here. Carson, no, they're going to dip this let's one deep to Metcalf. Let's get this thing moving. Good coverage there. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third. That's good down. coverage right there, and that's why we want like keep switching off with Emmanuel Mosley and, and um, Williams there. Come on, Williams, to just kind of keep healthy and keep switching them out and covering DK. He fakes the give here and looks to throw. That's caught by his running back, Raheem Moster. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line. After Good six-yard six. gain. Go right back to him on the ground this time. Yeah, bow. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. The Niners on third down. A former Niner, Reuben Foster. This is third and seven. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier. Another punt. Really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. It's a 45. And a very huge punt. All the way back to their 25. And 10. So here are the Seahawks ready to take over on offense. They've won two straight and they lead this one as well as they come up on first. Gonna run the ball here. And from the 25, they were about a four-yard carry. Of four. 
Nice carry, nice stop. See what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. Second down. Get a shotgun here. See if they find a man open, and they don't. Williams on the coverage. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on. Third down. Brings up third down and six yards to go. On third down, Wilson. Gonna be over the middle here, and that's gonna be caught. Oh, and Metcalf breaks tackles. He's going. I don't know how he got out of that. That's a touchdown. His second in the game. Wow. Are you kidding? I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards. So just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. So nine are down 14 7 14 nothing early. Was right there. And the numbers here don't lie. According to the next gen stats, he topped out at an even 22 miles an hour. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going. And a big run by Mostert. When the pitcher gets a base hit, he's Good 15. Get out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg. The guy we want to use more often. And right back to him after that big carry. Another about eight, nine yards. Second and one, see if they hit him with a play action. They're going to run the ball. No gain, third and one. And Mostert's going to pick up the first. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. This offense finding it. So first down on our San Fran's 47. And that's going to go nowhere. Farrell, the rookie, one yard apparently. Second and nine. Oh, play action here. Maybe to Farrell. And he steps out of bounds. Cool. You got to cut that sideline way better. And that's caught. That's Kittle. Chains again as the tackle is going to be made at the Seahawks 29 yard line. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. Back to the running game with Mostert. And Mostert's going to break a tackle and go for about seven. This one down to the 24 yard line. The last run got six. Now second and four. Second and four. And we are marching in field goal range already. Back to Mostert. Picking up the first down. Sean McBay showing some uh, frustration. Another bunch set. You know who to watch here. No, Kittle's covered. They're going to go down to the end zone. And that's going to be caught by Wilcox, but way out of bounds. He's trying to make amends still. But that ball was led way too far out of bounds. And oh, missed block by our rookie Hopkins. Third and six. Let's see if we can put it to a one score game or just notch up some points. And it's his caught, and it's his touchdown, Wilcox. So Gage Wilcox gets back the touchdown he owes. After fumbling early in this game that led to a Seattle touchdown. 
for the touchdown. It's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. He puts one back up on the board. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So minute 49 and a half remaining. And now it's a single single uh, possession game. Oh, he's going to get that off there. I don't know if that's caught, though. That's just going to be an incomplete pass. They're going to booth review this, and it's going to... It was just upheld, incomplete. And we're going to get him, Nick Bosa. Niners using a timeout defensively. Third and long. And they're going to just run this ball in. Oh, Chris Carson picking up a good amount there. But it's going to lead to fourth down either way. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Spins away. Good move. A 46-yard punt, a four-yard return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The 49 offense. I prefer them to punch that side. Adams is on the other wing, so. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's. Mostert wide open. Yeah. Breaks a tackle, picks up maybe another additional yard. No huddle here, minute four left. Garoppolo, see if he can lead us. Over the middle, no, he's going to go sideline, wide open, Bo. That's Debo. And maybe back to Mostert here. Yes, it is. He's going to make a man miss. <laughs> Pick up nine. Any sort of points here would be big. And yeah, we're going to catch it and head out of bounds. And that's going to be caught, Mostert. Four-yard gain. 23 seconds remaining in the half. Garoppolo firing. That's again complete. Kittle marching this ball. Garoppolo has all day, and he's throwing it end zone. It's picked off. And most likely that'll end the half. Wow. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys. Yeah, and that'll take us to half. We do receive the ball. One final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. Due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. So that's big. with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Rick Lawson never asked the play-by-play <laughs> -play guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 11 yards there, first down. 
And, oh, almost looked like a big run. Bobby Wagner, though, blocked that off. Second and seven here. Oh, a draw. Oh, a play-action draw here. That opens up things over the middle. Ayuk. Big play. And now we're on Seattle's 33. Empty set, Garoppolo finding Kittle. Ten yard gain and first down. As he reaches for it. And this is gonna be a toss up and it is gonna be incomplete. Ayuk. Looked like he had it popped loose. And that's going to be caught, but there is a marker on the field. And it's going to be roughing the passer. That sets up a new set of downs. 15-yard penalty, and we're at the 8-yard line. And play action, but that's going to be snuffed out. Reuben Foster pick up his first sack on this ball game. So second and 15. It's rather touchdown or not. And that's going to be caught. Kittle brings it to the four. Oh, excuse me, that's um, uh, uh, Warner. Brennan Ayuk wide open, touchdown. Let's put this game back at 14 all now. His third touchdown now on the year. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and we are tied at 14. And nice tackle. And down at the 28. I want to turn over. Let's get something going here. Bosa's X Factors on. About a lose yard. Good tackle for loss there. Let's see what they can do here. They're going to do a screen pass. It's going to be caught right away. <laughs> And Pocket is going to be injured on the play. On the Seattle Seahawks. Third and 11, and we're going to get no. Almost. Almost got there for the sack. Russell Wilson got it off before going down. For the play to develop. Just so now punt. Wilcox is going to field this one. And Adams once again is going to make the tackle. That's his third tackle on special teams alone. And play action here. We're going to get it off. And it's picked. No. It's going to be dropped by Adams. It's a rare sighting right there. See if Garoppolo can make him pay now. That's going to be Kittle. So third and two. Right, Moe's just going to pick up the first down and a few more. So a new set of downs, almost near midfield on San Fran's 46. 
Hand this one off here. Moster picks up about one, maybe two. Second and eight. Second and eight. Empty backfield. This is tossed up and it's going to be incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Shotgun for him, eight yards to go. Garoppolo, Garoppolo finds the man to Kittle. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get so the first down. Conversion. And we're past Garoppolo midfield. Kittle for a Niner first down. Play action. We're going to get sacked here once again. It's about the third or fourth time we've gotten sacked this game. It's a big drop back. Receiver's heading deep. That's caught by Kittle. And that's a first down. So a race of sack, basically, and that's a new set of downs. And draw handoff here. Mozart finds and breaks the tackle and gets it to about the 20. Second and six. Mostert breathing heavy. Over the middle. Debo to the three. Be tackled at the three, but they'll say he got to the two first. The so second or first and on the two yard line and Mostert gets it to the one yard line on a one yard carry. Single back, it's gonna be a quick play here and that's gonna be Kittle for the touchdown. That's Garoppolo's third passing touchdown today. Touchdown passes now for Jimmy Garoppolo. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. The 21 14. Niners coming back in this one and putting up 21 consecutive. They find themselves open for an easy touchdown. There's a nice move. And they'll get him down right around the 25. See if the Seahawks can answer or if they will. Have another bus drive here as they're yet to score this half. Screen pass. No one's going to be there. Chris Carson first down. So fourth quarter begins. Seattle down by seven. They're on their 37-yard line with the ball. Passing play. And that's going to be DK there on the, about a seven-yard catch. And off here on the counter, and that's going to be a first down and more. So first and ten. See if we can turn the ball over on this empty. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. It's gonna be thrown up, and that's gonna be incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Incomplete. It's now second and ten. Again on second and ten. It's Wilson. They'll run the screen with Carson. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 11 yards there, first down. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. Now it's Wilson. Now they set up the screen. And Wilson, nice little dump, dump off. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball 
well because you're not getting the benefits of run after. And down he goes. The 49 And that's a sack, Bosa. Just looking at more of the stats here, otherwise. And Old Mo is a very, very fickle man. That's complete to his running back, Dallas. And good open field tackle. At the 38 yard line. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. So on fourth down, out trots. And they're going to try a big, long field goal here. This officially a 55 yard attempt. And he has got it. And they're going to land that through. That was never in doubt. It's an interesting call there to take the three minute game. Interesting enough. I'm surprised he made it. Fourth quarter, that field goal might not help him that much in the air. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there. Hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? They've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack, or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right, but I do think if they can stay aggressive you? and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. Going to go on mute for the rest of this game here. From the gun, a run with Moster, and he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Second and 12, Garoppolo. That's complete to Mostert out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. That's a gain of four here in the fourth quarter with them leading by four on the scoreboard. Completes it to Samuel. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down when his way it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. A play fake from Mostert, now Garoppolo. And he fires one incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. A gain of four. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard, your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Garoppolo to Ayuk, first down 49ers. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And yeah, not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession. So they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, 
They've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. They run out of the shotgun with Moster. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. They'll run with Mostert. And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Raheem Mostert, his third touchdown now on the year. And the 49ers add on to their lead. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. Take over first and at their own 25-yard line. So Wilson and the Seahawks down by 11, a minute 54 on the clock. They need a touchdown with a two-point conversion and a field goal in either order as they've got it first down. Now Wilson on first down. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. The intended receiver was D.K. Metcalf. And it's second down. It leads to second and 10. To throw again. Wilson. Pass incomplete. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league, totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by the safety, Jarquiski Tart. Well, you're trailing. It's the fourth quarter, and you've got to throw the football. But the defense knows this, too. So they're just going to sit back, bring in an extra defensive back or two, the old nickel or dime strategy, Brandon, and wait for you to put that bad boy up for grabs. And this one winds up being intercepted. Touchdown! And Tart right at the end of the game. Raheem Mostert, his second touchdown of the night. Or, the yeah, Tart right with the pick. Ends the game. Moster, big run there. Special teamer to postseason hero. All he needs is a little bit of space CD. 68 yard rush. Gold with the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. And just like that, a minute left in this game. And 18 point difference. And a decent return out to the 27 yard line. First and 10. Their own 20 coming to the line here to begin their next drive. The Seahawks offense. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they And we might be no. Osa almost got his uh, second sack. Throwing again. Wilson. And no holding call. Thought there should be a little bit of a grab, but I mean, there is a minute remaining. Coverage looking really good out there. And this one's fired deep. And Fred Warner actually could have came down with that. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And we're getting sacked. Eric Armstead. Eric 
And now we're just going to run that clock down to zero and walk away over 500. So they tried to go for it for pride. And another big run here. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. One more play. That time, and they're set up with a second and one. Second and one. Overall, good game. Oh, another road touchdown. Insult to injury. Ending the game with a last-second touchdown. Sportsmanship wasn't there, but that is all right. And it's showing me Seattle's for some reason. So Jimmy G threw for 327 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. He Mostert ran for 180 yards, and he passed over the 20 carries that wanted him to have this game. Did he also get those three touchdowns, too? Debo and George Kittle. Both led this game in yards. Ayuk and Kittle and Wilcox had the touchdowns. Bobby Wagner had so many tackles this game. Sacks, Nick Bosa, Eric Armstead, and Fred Warner. D Ford shared .5 of one. Quandre Diggs, Tart. Both safeties. So that'll end week five.